Imagine getting thousands of strategies looking like this. This is what you can do with Super Trend Indicator and a data mining tool, something like Strategy Quant X. Now, if you talk about data mining with any trader, they will cringe and they will think you're overfitting, blah, 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 blah. Strategy Quant X, it's a tool. It's just like any other tool. If you know how to use it, you will get an advantage. And if you don't know how to use it, you will injure yourself. In this case, you are losing money. So in this video, I will show you how to use Strategy Quant X with Super Trend Indicator to build strategies just like the one I showed you on intraday time frame. Now, I did a video about Super Trend by using Super Trend in short, medium, and long speed to build strategies or using it as a filter. Today, we will use it as a trigger to enter and a trigger to exit. So super trend is a trend following indicator similar to a moving average and it's plotted on the price showing the current trend of the market. So this is how super trend looks on a chart. This is gold futures and this super trend using a 40 period ATR. So in this case, we are looking at daily. So it's looking at 40 days calculating the average true range using not the close using the open high low close dividing by four basically it's like a moving average of the price of course you can use it on the close only and it will change a little bit and then we are using a six multiplier so that's six times the 40 day average true range and if we do that we get these channels so when the price is above the upper channel, we basically go long, and when it's below the lower channel, we go short. And that's how it works. So like I mentioned in this video, we will use Super Trend Indicator as a trigger to enter and exit the strategy. So here we are in Strategy Quant X, and let's build this strategy. So to make it easier, I will use the long part only. So let's add the condition, which is Super Trend. So this is Super Trend. Now what we have here is, Super trend in a range, uptrend, downtrend. Also crosses above super trend or below. So this is usually how everybody uses it. When the bar closes above super trend, you go long or short and the opposite. We will use it this way. When super trend is up. So mode is basic and I will just use the default ATR period. This is 24 bars and three multiplier. We do this and for the exit, we'll use the opposite. So super trend is down. Again, basic 24, three, no shift. I will use trade station engine and we will use it on heating oil and I will use it on three hour bar time frame. Make one contract at a time and that's it. We can run. So this is our strategy. So it's profitable, but it's a horrible equity chart. Average trade is $316. We are making money, but again, the drawdown is huge. The open drawdown is $58,000. You might ask why heating oil, why H3? Well, as the title indicates, we are doing an intraday strategy. And of course, when I do intraday, I don't do one minute or five minutes because there is not enough meat in that time frame to make money. So H3 is very reasonable. And why heating oil? Because heating oil is part of the energy sector. And if you are a viewer of the channel, you know, then you have to marry the strategy style to the instrument. In this case, this is a trend following strategy. So we need to marry it to trend following instruments or instruments that behave well with this type of strategy. And the energy sector is one of them. So this strategy now exiting only when this one is falling. Now I can also add, for example, exit after number of bars. So let's say we exit after five bars and we get a different profile. And then of course I can add, since the strategy using ATR, I can use maybe a multiple of ATR for stop loss and profit target. And again, we get a different profile. So you can see we have many things to play with and here is the strength of strategy quant x i can let strategy quant x play with all these variables but limit the range so we don't overfit and let me show you how we can build a template to build the strategy so let's go back here and now to change this to a template we need to go to setting advance on so now we are building a template so first we have this indicator and instead of 24, 
we will create a range so generate randomly and we will go from 10 to 30 so that's uh, 20 in step of four so that's five steps and then for the ATR multiplier again we will do the same thing generate randomly and we will limit that between one and four step 0.5 confirm so that's done then we can do the same thing for the exit great now this template will scramble all these items and will generate many strategies that we cannot manually do it now any strategy needs a filter and we have so many types of filters i mentioned many of them on the channel usually we stick to directional volatility but in this case we will use the power of sqx to pick its own filter and we want to limit sqx to the entry signal always as super trend and then add the filter so that's why we are building this template otherwise if you go with builder and choose uh, any blocks then super trend can be a filter can be a trigger we don't know so let me show you how to add a random filter so because now we have a template we can go to add another condition and in the condition we will do random condition now we are applying this strategy on an h3 heating oil that means three hour bar on heating oil filters on the other hand usually work much better on higher time frame so we will need a daily time frame to add the filter to. So we need to restrict the filter now to only the daily time frame. So in order to do this, I will add a, another chart here. So add a sub chart. And this time we will do heating oil daily time frame. And then I need to apply the condition here on the daily time frame. So now, regardless of what I do, this condition will only be applied to the daily time frame. And now I will add the other exit. So we will exit after number of bars. Let's randomize this also. So we randomize this exit after bars from 1 to 15 in step of 1. And I will set the profit target and stop loss. And this will be randomized inside SQX engine automatically. We just need to switch it on. So I save this as super trend template version two. We will go to builder and I load the template here. The only thing that matters now is the number of conditions because we added one random condition and you need to tell strategy quant X how many conditions you want to add. So like you see here, I have zero in entry and I have zero in exit. Why? Because this is already built in. So we are already using these. The only thing I'm going to control is this, the random condition. This I cannot control anymore. It's built in. So going back to builder. And here it is on the additional chart. That's the daily chart. I want one condition only to be added. And here I added another one, but doesn't mean anything because I don't have a random condition for exit. So that's it. We have only one condition that will be added to the template and randomizing the ATR and the ITR multiple. So the data I'm using, all the available data, which is since uh, January 2009 for intraday heating oil. Trading options, I have nothing. And in building blocks, now I pick everything. So this is all the signals, all the indicators, and all the limit entry blocks. Plus, I have the stop and market uh, entry. And remember, we have the exit after number of bars and the profit target and stop loss. This is all part of the strategy. I'm not doing any cross checking and in ranking, here is what I want. I want a minimum of two trades per month, profit factor 1.3 or higher, return to drawdown ratio four or higher, stability 0.65 or higher. Now, stability is not a robustness. It's more just to give you a nice equity curve. So basically the curve that I show you in the beginning of the video, it looks very nice because it's going sloping up roughly around 45 degrees. And that's what stability gives you. It, it looks for a smoother curve. Doesn't work all the time. Like if you have a low profit in the beginning and a high profit at the end, it will give you a good stability, but it's a nice filter to have uh, for most of the strategies. So I did this already and we have 1000 strategies 
let's increase this to 1500 so we can build some more so let's start and it's so easy to find strategies you can see how fast it's working because we are marrying the right strategy style to the right instrument so i'm gonna stop it for now and look at all these beautiful strategies again this is because of the stability so this is making four hundred eighty-five thousand dollars, and this one which passed the same thing making only a hundred and the difference is this the difference is the number of trades uh, why with this, the same strategy we are having 1500 trades and the other ones making only around 300 trades and if we look at the source code so let's pull this back a little bit let's go to pseudo code so this is one of the strategies 381 trades now the signal we know it's the super trend and let's look at this so there is the period and the multiplier so the multiplier is 0.5 and the period is 14 and then the exit which is super period 2 it's 15 periods and the multiplier is two and a half that's it this is the entry and the exit and our filter is this so in this case the filter is a custom block that way it says pullback and it's basically just waiting for a pullback so that's our filter but now here's the part where why these strategies are at 381 and some of them at 1500 and the trick is this the number of bars so you see this one is exiting after 14 bars so 14 bars that limits the number of trades and I will show you if I go now to this strategy for example 1500 so if we click on 1500 you can see how these are I mean they did change but they don't offer that big of a difference this is the huge difference is the exit number of bars now it's two so that's why we have 15. now let's look at this one this is 2000 trades and again it's a custom block it's ib this is a very effective filter internal bar strength and let's see the range of money we are making so 720 at the highest and 31,000 at the lowest so starting from here so 175 is good and then we can go all the way up so that's almost 40% of the strategies are $175 average trade and up, which is really good. The takeaway here is marrying the right instrument to the right strategy style and keeping everything simple. So remember, the simplicity came here is by adding only one condition. And the fact that we have easily achieved a thousand, I mean, I've done this in 15 minutes. <laughs> So you can easily get hundreds of thousands of these variations. Of course, most of them will be highly, highly correlated because uh, having a ATR multiplier of 0.5 or 1, uh, they will be highly correlated. But that's amazing because if one fails, then you can easily bring the other one. And that's what the Algo Trading Masterclass is all about, is to teach you how to build robust strategies using simple ideas and then keep the robust strategies in a data bank and pull them over as you need them and put them in a portfolio and then build a portfolio and so on and so forth. To learn more, make sure to watch these videos and I will see you.